Hey guys, so last night I went and saw uh, finally Ouija Origin of Evil, and because of that, I am finally caught up on all the new movies. Yay! Um, the new movies in particular that have gotten good reviews, have gotten a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. If you haven't found out, if you haven't seen that one video I made about a few weeks back, I said I'm only reviewing movies that are getting fresh ratings on Rotten Tomatoes from this point forward because I'm just done with a lot. I've seen a lot of shit this year uh, because of me just going to see whatever I wanted to. And yeah, uh, so Ouija, Origin of Evil. Uh, I, this is a review, by the way, I want to get done with as quickly as possible because I got it's right now almost midnight and I gotta be up at 4 a.m. and have to uh, board an airplane at 7.30 to go to North Carolina. So I wanna get this done as quickly as possible. Uh, Ouija, Origin of Evil. Um, this is a movie that, this is probably one of the best cases of, if I've ever seen it, I would not have seen this movie if it wasn't getting as well received as it has been um and haven't if i haven't heard a really strong word of mouth as i have i uh, because i never saw the first ouija because i hear it is shit i refused to watch it even before i saw this movie because i from even from the trailers it looked like a movie that i like this i did not need to see the first one to understand this one i could tell from just the trailer i'll be okay and i was like oh, man i i've like i i was not that impressed by the trailers too for this film at all except for the last one i got a couple days ago i thought it was pretty good but other than that i wasn't that impressed i was like i was <laughs> even from the trailers i was like i'm not sure about why this is getting as well received as it is I'm kind of curious. Like, it's one of those movies you're kind of curious when you start hearing good things about it. Uh, I, I kind of stayed away from really any spoiler, uh, like, filled reviews, so going into it. And you know what? This was a pretty... This is a movie that... One of the reasons why I didn't do a review la last night is that I felt like I needed to sleep on it. Because this is one of those movies that stuck with me. And I was kind of like, I don't know what the fuck to think about with this movie. But as the day has progressed and, you know, my, my thoughts... As I continue to think about this movie, I gotta say, I really fucking enjoyed this movie. This was an enjoyable sit. It's not a perfect film by any means, but by God was this the, the, like, there was some great shit in this movie. That like this In a year that has had some of the best horror movies I've seen in years like, some, this has been the best year in horror I think in years. Um, this is definitely one of them. Uh, you know, this 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 movie will fall in that category. Uh, this was, I mean, this isn't the best horror movie I've seen all year, but it's, it's a, it's definitely a damn good film. Uh, if you're wanting to see a movie at the movie theaters for Halloween, a horror movie for Halloween, um, the acting in this movie is really good. Uh, honestly, this is, I felt like a really good family drama that just has supernatural elements mixed in for the fuck of it. And it just seemed to be almost an inconvenience at first. Um, I, 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 cause this movie is really well acted. I, I everybody in this movie does really good. Uh, uh, the mom is like very relatable. She's a widower who the husband died, I think in a car crash, I think. Uh, I think that was what it was explained, uh, and she's, you know, having trouble paying the bills, and she's this fake fortune teller that, uh, uses, or like, uses her daughters also to kind of, like, kind of con people out of their money, but also she does it even though she feels like she's doing it for a good cause, like, she gives people comfort, like, that scene at the beginning, uh, with uh, the old man who wanted to talk to his wife, um, and uh, yeah, 
I and she, like she's really good in this movie. Uh, and like the one thing I will say about the, the characters in this movie is that pretty much their reactions are pretty much what I felt like almost half the time the reactions of by these characters in this film felt like real reactions by real people like how real people would react in these kinds of situations there were a couple examples there were a couple exceptions here and there but for the most part I thought they did a pretty good solid job with the characters that you built uh, throughout this film, like they felt like th this is what these characters would do in this situation, especially the mom. Um, I thought the star of the fucking movie, honestly, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, was that little girl who gets possessed. She's fucking great. <laughs> she is great as being creepy as fuck in this movie. <laughs> She's very good at it. Uh, she is terrifying. Um, there's just parts where she's just staring at you like it's supposed to be sweet and innocent but it comes off very fucking creepy um and then there's also moments where she's have her eyes rolled back in her head and uh stuff like that um uh, but she is really good. I liked her in this movie. And, like, all, the only reason she wanted to do this was that she wanted to talk to her dad again. And that's... But I don't want to get into spoilers, but she kind of starts bringing in, like, these other spirits that are not so kind as her father is. Uh, that's basically kind of the plot without giving too much away. Uh... Also, the teenage, the teenage daughter, who was that girl from Oculus, uh, was uh, the little, the teenage, the younger girl in uh, Oculus. Uh, she's pretty good in this movie, really good. Uh, she isn't annoying like the annoying teenager that you get in a lot of these movies. Uh, she's really good. Uh, one of the things I really liked about this movie is that there was just a lot of little things I liked about this movie more than anything. Um, this movie is filled with a lot of jump scares and stuff like that, but not as, it's not over the top with it, honestly. It doesn't go overboard. It does have jump scares. It actually has one of my favorite jump scares, like, one of the most clever jump scares. I don't know if I'm, I, I for some reason, I really got a kick out of this jump scare. It's the, it's at the beginning of the movie where, uh, the teenage girl goes to her friend's house and sneaks out to her friend's house, and she goes to, uh, she goes there, and they're drinking, and they, this is where she first encounters a Ouija board, and, because her friend has one, and they decide to go upstairs and play with it, and the one teenage girl that's, uh, one friend is, like, really terrified to, so like, oh god, oh god, oh god, the whole time she's fucking hilarious, they kept cutting to her reaction, every time she would go, oh god, oh god, oh god, that's exactly all she said the whole fucking time, it's pretty hilarious, but, <laughs> at one point, like, you, you, like, they are trying to, they tell the, or they think they're talking to a spirit, and they go, Okay, spirit, give us a sign that you are there. And so, like, there's this long pause of, like, like, like you're like, okay, there's going to be some fucking jump scare, weak jump scare. And there is. It's the mom barging in uh, and uh, yelling at the kids. And <laughs> the best part of that fucking scene, why it was so hilarious, I, I, I laughed out loud at this, was that, there was like a 10 second delayed reaction for the girl that was kept going, oh god, oh god. As soon as the mom came in and started shouting, there was like I said, a delayed reaction. And she goes, ah! <laughs> she just freaks out. And it's it just cuts the, it cuts the next scene. I fucking laughed my ass off in the theater. I, like, it was, because it was such a delayed reaction, it was fucking hilarious, and I kind of started laughing, busting up laughing, um, uh, also, this is one of those movies that, it does something that I kind of like, that other movies, the other horror movies don't do, and it's like, you know, there's always those weird dream sequences that you see throughout the film, or there's those weird parts of the movie that make no sense in the, like, the part where the girl gets her, her dreams that her mouth is sewn shut, I'm like, 
I, I, when that scene happened, I'm like, okay, that's that. You know, it looks creepy, but what does that have to do with anything? Like that was just a abnormal jump scare, but it does tie into the film that by the end of the movie. Uh, also, uh, that, what was the other part? Uh, oh, like the creepy monologue that that little girl has when she's telling the, her, her uh, teenage sister's boyfriend about uh, what it feels like to be strangled to death. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen it. Um, it, it goes on for a little bit longer. It's pretty fucking creepy. Uh, but it has, does actually serve a purpose. There was a reason why it's in there. Um, where this movie kind of will lose some people, I have a feeling. I'm surprised it hasn't, like, the reaction as good as... It's probably the last half. That was where I kind of was like, you know what? I don't... That, that was where I kind of, like... It throws a lot of shit at you. A whole lot of shit. To the point, this movie was so fucking unpredictable. I thought it was going, like... This is one of the reasons why I like this movie. Is that... When you thought it was going this, going in this direction, it just throws a bunch of fucking crazy wild shit at you that you just, just, and it never lets up. Like the last act of this movie, like the last half hour of this movie, is so fucking unpredictable. A lot of shit I never thought would happen in this movie it does. Um, <laughs> I don't want to give it away. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, without giving it away. Let's just say this is the second it involves the fucking Holocaust. That's all I'm gonna say. That's that's all you need to know. It involves the fucking Holocaust. And <laughs> and this is weirdly enough, the second movie this week I saw that involves the Holocaust. What the fuck? Is Holocaust making a comeback? Holocaust movies. I know there's that denial movie about the the or somebody trying to deny that the Holocaust happened, and they're doing it. They had a trial about it. Uh yeah. Um, that that last act was so fucking weird. It froze so much at you in thirty minutes. It's like it's a lot to process. It is a lot to fucking process. That ending is so fucking weird. Uh, it goes like I said I, I but also at the same time I gotta give it credit because it I never fucking saw a lot of the shit that happens in that at the end of the movie coming at all um I haven't from what I read if I would have watched the first one I would have saw a lot of it coming but luckily since I didn't see the first one I kind of recommend don't watch the first one if you don't you'll be like as like into it and as shocked as by the events of the end of the movie as I was. Uh, that was kind of fun. So I did look at the end of the, when it, the movie. It was over. I looked up to see if this movie... Like, I was like, does this movie have anything to do with the original? It does. It, it does. I'm not going to give it away if you don't know. Um, but so it, from what I can tell, it, it has a lot to do with the original. So... Um, <sighs> If there's any other complaints I could give, CGI, there was a lot of CGI in this movie. Some of it good, some of it not so good. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, lots and lots of CGI in this movie. <laughs> lots and lots of CGI. Uh, it's one of those movies. It's a PG-13 movie that, a horror movie that, like, for, like, the first half I could understand why it was PG-13, but once the twist at the end of the movie happened, I was like, I'm surprised they didn't make it an R because of that. Because uh, it goes into some really fucked up territory. Uh, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, it was fine with that. But like I said, the CGI, uh, some of the jump scares are like, it goes, it, it does kind of go into cliche territory here and there every so often. Um, it, like I said, this movie is really well, one of the strongest points of this movie is that it's really well acted and really like by the actors of this movie are really good. Um, also, this is from the guy that made Oculus, the first 
the, the director of the Oculus did this movie, and I'm curious to see more movies from him. I know he did that movie Before I Wake. Wasn't that supposed to come out earlier this year? And I don't think it ever fucking did. Like, it's been, it was delayed, like, about a year ago. It was supposed to come out a year ago. And, um, what the hell? Uh, it was delayed, like, a year ago. Uh, and then I think it was supposed to go out in September, and then it never did. It looked like shit, but I kind of want to see it now because I've seen his other two movies, and I'm really impressed by him. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to see him do more stuff. Like, in the ending of that, this movie kind of reminded me of Oculus, and then it was kind of like a mindfuck kind of an ending. Not as much as Oculus was. Oculus was just fucking batshit insane. Uh, but <laughs> it just went falls to the wall. Uh, I love Oculus. Oculus was awesome. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm just going, kind of going, I, I need to get the fuck off here. I need to get... Uh, I should talk about trailers real quick, and there's not much to talk about here with trailers. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Hold on a second. That's so much stuff on my phone. Um... I got the new trailer for Resident Evil, the final chapter. I really, I don't have much to talk about this. I'm not a fan of this series. I never have been. Again, anytime a series tells you it's the final chapter, fuck off. That movie, that movie can go fuck off. Because I swear, like three movies ago, it said it was going to be the last film. And then they end up making two more or whatever. I don't fucking care anymore. Um, also... I don't, I haven't watched the series, like, as much as a lot of people I hate, probably have, but I don't remember the whole fucking world being affected by the zombie apocalypse. I thought it was just Raccoon City. Maybe I'm just, I forget, I, I just, like I said, I, I don't care about the series. Somebody could explain that to me. I don't know. I don't, you know, don't fucking even bother because it looks, anyways, uh, Annabelle 2, from what I can tell, this is a prequel to the prequel, because the movie, the first Annabelle was a prequel to The Conjuring, and apparently this is a prequel to the prequel. What? <laughs> Why? Who cares? What the hell do we need this for? Uh, I hated Annabelle. I thought it was shit. It was a terrible movie. Um... And, yeah, that's about it. I'm not, like, maybe this will be, like, Ouija Origin of Evil, where this one improves on the first one. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not having high hopes, so we'll see. Um, and then the last trailer was Shut In. I got, I've seen this poster a lot, like, the past two weeks. I was wondering what the fuck this was. It's a, oh God, this looks terrible. It's Naomi Watts. She is... It starts out interestingly enough, where she dreams about kill or like killing her son who's paralyzed in a bathtub, drowning him. That was weird. That was kind of an interesting way to open a trailer. And then uh, it's about her husband or her and her son live together, and he and she adopts this kid who's. Uh, doesn't have a home or something like that, and he goes missing, and then the weird shit starts happening, and like the ghost of this kid. I don't fucking know what's going on. It looks stupid. Uh, I don't care. Whatever. Uh, I don't think I can try to explain it. Um, that's as far as trailers go. I gotta get the fuck off here. I'll be back next week. There's a lot of shit coming out that's supposedly it's supposed to be pretty goddamn good. Doctor Strange, Axel Ridge. Uh, Loving's coming out. I don't know if my theater will get it, but we'll see. I don't even know if they'll get Hacksaw Ridge, but I know we'll get Doctor Strange. All right, and Trolls. So, yay. Uh, yeah. Apparently, from early reviews for all four of those movies have been really good. So, yeah, here we go. I'm interested in how that goes. Uh, but until then, I will talk to you guys later.